Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the fourth video I'm doing in this set of videos that are walking you through how we write the land descriptions for the storm drain parcel dedications we're, we're doing in Merced. So if you watched the last video, which was the third video, we finished up the land description for the storm drain parcel. Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, the first strip description in this set of five. Okay, so this is the storm drain parcel. So let, uh, what we want to do is we're going to we're going to just do a save a copy here because we're going to use the same caption. Okay, and so this is going to be the storm drain basin. I'm going to call PUE public utility easement. Okay. Okay, so we're going to say this is a public utility easement sidewalk easement and landscape easement. That's how they do it, Emmer said. Okay. Alright, so the caption, this is a beautiful part. Caption is exactly the same because I'm in the same chunk of dirt on parcel D, right? Okay, so we don't have to change the ca caption at all. And because of the way we set this up, we don't have to change our commencement that much either. Okay, so in fact we might not have to change the commencement at all on this one. So uh, let's go look at that. Let's pull up our plat. All right. Okay, so here's the plat for PUE. So uh, you can see we have the very same POC and POB that we did for the storm drain parcel. So that doesn't need to change at all, right? Okay, now this is a 15 foot strip. Okay, which means we actually need to annotate that on here. We need to put 15 feet on here and that would be good. So let's just make a note for ourselves so we don't forget. So we're going to say, and, because, you know, usually when you're writing your legal, you realize you need a few more things on your plat. So add 15 foot width dimension. And the other thing I wanted to do was, we're going to say, and D reference for 100 foot in my D right away. Okay. And, uh, all right, so uh, once we get to our POB here, what we're going to do is we're going to come down this line, okay, to our point of termination, and we're going to describe that as the... Um, the easterly side of this 15 foot strip, which you'll see here in a minute. Okay, so let's go back to our legal. And now there's a couple things we've got to change. We do have to change one or two things here in the caption. So we're going to say, instead of saying parcel of real property, I'm going to say that strip of land. That's how I like to do my strip descriptions. Okay, then we say down here, said strip of land, being more particularly described as follows. Okay, so that tells the reader that we're going to have a strip description here. Okay, so we start the same point of commencement. We go down to the point of beginning. Okay, but um, in here we're going to say we got to add something because it's a strip description. So we're going to say a strip of land, 15 feet in width, lying westerly of the following described line. Okay, so I'm not doing center line here. I'm doing I'm going down the westerly line because that's just the way the geometry worked out. So same thing, we go to commencement to our point of beginning. Okay, now now we gotta kind of start from scratch here. Okay, so we're gonna say okay we're gonna say now we're gonna do a list again because we're running down a set of courses. So we're gonna say then the fall, uh, then we're going to say then sa southerly along the um, westerly boundary, or let's say westerly line. I like to do line. Westerly line of the proposed Barkley Way right away and the existing. Parkway way right away. Okay, the following courses. So we're setting up our list here. And just so you guys can see visually what's going on, 
this this part right here is along a proposed take. This hasn't been created yet. This part of Barkley Way. This part right here has been created. Okay. So that's why I did it the way the way I did it there. Okay. So then we're just going to give our first course. Okay. So what's our first course? Our first course is going to be. Let's pull this over. Okay. So we're going southeast. South. 26. Oh four fifty seven east one hundred and eighty four point six five feet. Okay, that's it. We don't have to repeat controlling calls because we're in a list here. Okay, now we have a tangent curve. Okay, we're going along a tangent curve to the right. Okay, so we're gonna say uh, along a tangent curve to the right. An arc length of 210.24 feet. Okay, then they say period. Said curve. Now it's not, it's a tangent curve, so we don't need a chord bearing in distance. Said curve having a radius of 463.00 feet and a central angle of. 26, 0, 0, oh, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, there's our tangent curve. Okay, then we go a uh, straight distance. So we go south, 0, 0, 0, 3, 56, east. Okay, and we got to add these two numbers again. Because on our plat we broke up the two courses. So 132.30 plus 167.07, 299.37 feet. Okay, so let me just show you guys what we did. Okay, we came down this straight course, then we went along this tangent curve, then we went down this straight course. We just combined these two distances. She broke it up here because it, it breaks the existing from the proposed right away. I draft her, but went down there. Okay. Okay, now we have a tangent curve to the left, this curve right here. Tangent curve to the left. Okay, followed by a reverse curve to the right. Right here. Okay. So let's pull that over. So then we're gonna say Okay, along a tangent curve to the left and arc length of 160.83 feet said curve having a radius of 1537.00 feet and a central angle of 5 59, 43. Okay. I fat fingered that, should be a 1. Okay. Now, now we have a reverse curve. Now, because a reverse curve is tangent, we don't have, to, again, we don't have to include a core banging distance. In fact, we can save a little time here and just copy this down. Okay, so we're going to say along a tangent curve. Okay, now this is a reverse curve. So it's still tangent, but it's reverse, so we call that out. A reverse curve to the right. Okay, an arc length of, so what's our arc length? Our arc length is 55.39 feet. Said so curve having a radius of 1463 feet and a central angle of 2 degrees. Ten minutes, nine seconds. Okay, now that is also our point of termination right here. Okay, so we're going to say, okay, right here we're going to say to the point of termination because we're not going back to the point of beginning, right? This is a strip description. 
Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna say right here, sidelines of said strip of land being lengthened or shortened to intersect the um, so we're going to say the uh, what do I want to say here the uh, southerly right of way line of said right of way dedicated to Merced Irrigation District and the proposed, let's say the south westerly boundary of a proposed storm drain basin parcel. Okay, so we're just shortening and extending our sideline. Okay, and then we need the area here. Okay, so the area is. I don't know if I have the area, so we got to get the area. Okay, guys, so our area is 13559 square feet. So if it's less than an acre, I always do square feet. If it's more than an acre, I do acres. Okay, and we've got the same end notes there, right? Okay, and then I need to stamp and seal that bad boy. So we're going to save that. Boom, strip description done. Okay, all right, so got a couple more of these to do so I'm not sure if I'm gonna record all these or not I might I'll think about that but at least this guy gives this gives you guys the, the flavor of what we're trying to do right so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it catch you on the next next video set